Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People, and today we'll be reviewing some random figures and action figures. But first and foremost, we're going to look at our first figure to review, and this is the 2005 anime figure, and this is from McFarlane Toys, and this is Nasumi Armitage, and yes, I got a second one of her for my toy shelf, so yeah, she's from 2005, and she can kick butt, her legs move because of her little, her little joints there. Don't have any bend at the knee or elbows. Arms can move. Head can move. Not on a ball joint. Look at that eye color. Look at that sculpting on the glasses and the hair. This is a good looking figure from 2005. Not 2005. 1995 figure. Best looking one I have so far. This is the upgraded version of the classic... Nesumi Armitage Figma doll, which I do own. This is better for articulation, and this is better for the second variant. But I wish they would have done a second version of this in doll form, so we can have two versions of her on my shelf. But for now, it is what it is. And that's all articulation for this figure. This is a good-looking figure. And she got a gun I gave her from... Final Faction, so you go pew, 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 bang, bang, all day long. That's why she's one of my favorite gun-toting android girls. Next to Armitage, next to Nasumi, and next to the uh, Ghost in a Shell, Major, and Android 18. Those are my top favorite android Figma characters. But now we're going to show off the other stuff we got. We got some Harry Potter. I don't have the original one, but this is also from McFarlane. Articulation is pretty good. Hinge here. Double hinge joint there, but it's real tight, so I got to be careful or I'll break it. Head is on a, moves a little bit. If you're not careful, you could easily snap it. Hinge joint here. For sure, hinge joint, hinge joint, hinge joint. And a little elbow movement. Okay, it comes with a nice stand, and this is from the Deathly Hollows. Bend at the knee, really good. Ankle tilt, nice. Same with the other knee, bend at the knee, ankle tilt. You even get a... Some foot movement out of this joint, but it's really tight, so I'm not going to bother moving it. But not bad-looking Harry Potter figure. If I do say so myself. Definitely my number one favorite Harry Potter figure right now. And I will try to locate some more. As you fans don't know, I was around when the first Harry Potter movie came out when I was a kid. And I just downright loved it. That's why it was so good and so fun. Next, we got my first ever Dumbledore. And this is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So yeah, I've been looking for this guy for quite some time. But now, we got Teacher Albus Dumbledore. He has some movement right there. But you gotta be careful because this figure can easily break. Head moves somewhat due to the design but next on the list we got this crocodile from jurassic world but i never saw these things in jurassic world or jurassic park so he's filling for a monster crocodile i'm like rawr, rawr, i'm gonna eat you num num i'll eat you all alive rawr. i'll bite your heads off rawr. but next we got my very first figure of this character it's the robot Voltron he gets bend at the knees 
legs go back that far, so you get some dynamic poses out of this guy. Definitely love this figure. And I got this for free, along with that alligator. Arms move with that, so you get some movement out of that Voltron arm. It's missing some parts, but I will make it my goal to find the parts to complete this thing one of these days, or find a complete one and sell it. Press the button, and his mouth opens. That's cool. No button on this guy, so you just pull his mouth open. Head is on a ball joint. On a hinge ball joint, hinge joint, you get some movement up, moving around, and that's pretty cool. But now to show off the reason I wanted to review this guy. He makes noise. His batteries die? Or did I turn them off? Oh, I turned them off. And that is why this is my number one favorite freebie of all the freebies I scored. And now we're down to the last figure. This is the last brand new figure I got from the exchange in Monroeville. It's G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra Cover Girl. And this is definitely one I was most excited to get. I think she got killed off in that movie, so she didn't get any more appearances, which is a real shame. Got a lot of weapons here. And here's the other figures that are in the line. I don't have him. Don't have him. Sergeant Hot Stone. Heavy Duty, I don't have him. Or Deep Six, don't have him. Definitely don't have Destro. Elite Viper, don't have him, but I have Neo Viper in the collection. So let's open this figure up. Okay, brand new figure. We're going to open this thing. Ooh, soft packaging. We got the big launching cannon. That's pretty cool. I'm going to have to lower this down because this is a pretty good figure. If I can get CoverGirl out. There we go. Let go. Let go of her gun. Her gun of, of murder. And she can get, get be given this gun, which she can probably shoot. Trick is trying to get it in her hand. Take this, Cobra. So she can shoot with that. Oh, and she gets this cool little laptop piece. It's a shame it's not painted, but it is pretty cool and detailed. But she can hold it and be like, type in while shooting. Why not? <laughs> Dare I say, why not? Next, we got the missile for that launcher. And it's a big gun. I don't think she can hold it. There's no handle on this thing where she can hold it. But we are going to show off what it can do. So let's fire at the uh, backdrop there. Does it work? No. And what do you know? It still fires. That is awesome. Oh, oh, there is a handle where she can hold it. Just give me a second here. 
but it's probably pretty heavy for her to hold. But we just insert the handle into her hand. No, you don't want to work. I'll have to use another figure for that. To show that cannon off, but... Oh, can I get it? I might have to get another figure to show that off. I hate that one. I'm going to go get another figure. I went and got the uh, G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie, Scarlet. I think she can probably hold this cannon with some... I can get her to hold it. Then we'll see what it looks like with her holding it. She's a bigger figure. More of the grip for it. Let's remove her crossbow. Oh, come on. Work with me here. Work with me here. But yeah, Scarlet can hold it. And be like... And be like, I got the launcher. Eat this, Cobra. So yeah, that's the only figure I could find that will get her to hold it. So, get a figure to hold it. Because Cover Girl can't grasp this thing. This is a big piece. But she comes with... Some pistols she can hold as well. So let's pull off these pistols. Come on. Come on. Hate these sinking packages. They don't want to let go of the guns. Come on. Come on. Got one. The other. Come on. I might have bent one of the guns a little bit. I'm trying to get it free because this gun is fighting me the whole darn way. Come on. A little bit of bending in the process because that packaging was stubborn. But now we can give her one gun. If I can get her to hold one gun. Then she can go, take this Cobra. Going bang, bang, bang. Come on. Hold the other gun too. Her hands are designed where she can hold both pistols. Come on. Come on. We're trying to get her dual wield in the pistols, the handguns, which she can totally go and dual wield in here and be like pew, pew, bang, bang. And she comes with a nice stand so you can stand her on her stand if I can get it to work. <laughs> stand is being a pain in the neck. I might have to do it off camera. Have better success off camera. Tabbed in the leg. In the leg. But I'm probably going to leave her with the one pistol because it's a pain in the neck to get her on the stand. But there we got Cover Girl. Articulation. Bend at the knees. Hinge joint, hinge joint. No elbow bends, which is a... Wait, there is some. It's just stubborn, and I'm afraid I'm going to break it. But we're probably going to leave her with the pistol instead. One pistol on my shelf, because she's a, a good-looking Joe. And now we're going to get down to some female Joe comparisons. Why not? If I can get her to stand up. So now we're going to put her Scarlet's main gun back into her hand. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And re-equip the bow and arrow as the crossbow. Here we got G.I. Joe Scarlet. And we're gonna get Lady J too. So But here we got all my female G.I. Joes as of 2023. 20, so yeah, I love G.I. Joe. The first time I ever watched G.I. Joe was Sigma 6. And then I watched G.I. Joe Rise of Venom vs. Valor, Spy Trooper. But now I got a better gun I can give to uh, Lady J in her holster here with the... Uh, new gun piece if i can get it going her holster she's keeping the extra cover roll gun for herself and what do you know it fits perfectly on lady j definitely gonna keep that as an awesome piece and now that joe is completed not bad if i do say so myself and now we're gonna get down to comparisons with the other G.I. Joe, the Rise of Cobra figures with Cover Cover Girl. Here we got the Viper Trooper next to Cover Girl because we're doing Rise of Cobra and I love G.I. Joe, the Rise of Cobra. The Baroness, why not? And that's all the G.I. Joe figures I have for comparison this week. But I'm so glad to have these in my collection. Are these worth the money if you can find them? I say if you can find the G.I. Joe, the Rise of Cobra cover girl, she's worth the money. And I've liked her for a long time. And now I got cover girl from G.I. Joe in my collection. And I'm so happy to own her. Definitely going to be a part of my collection for sure. And we'll give the... Uh, this guy, the, uh, that gun, so he can go dual wield him with the big guns. Take this, Joes. Pew, pew. Bang, bang. And yeah, I love G.I. Joe. That's why I picked this stuff up. And why I'm going to continue to pick up G.I. Joe in the future to build up my G.I. Joe and Cobra collection. And if you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.